Embedded engineers, developers, and makers, welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from embedded computing design. It's Friday, May 30th, 2025, and I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design, and these are our top stories this week. Uh, coming up first, we have me still digging out and recovering from my Week last week in Taipei, Taiwan for Computex 2025. But in case you missed it, our best in show awards for this year went to several really interesting uh, companies and products. Inatera in the microcontrollers, microprocessors, and IP category. MediaTek in our IoT and connectivity category. And to Synaptics in three categories. Wireless, MEMS and sensors, and shared with Inatera in microcontrollers, microprocessors, and IP. Congrats to them all for exemplary products. Really very interesting. Check them all out in the article linked down below. Our next item comes from David Garski, senior software engineer at Wolf SSL, who has written a cautionary column about how you need to get ready for the EU Cyber Resilience Act if you're doing any business in Europe. That's the CRA, which is about to change many things in cybersecurity compliance in the EU. This probably won't be as big as GSMA was, but similarly important. From the world of military embedded computing, Seven Star Lake announced recently that it has introduced what it says is the world's first and only all-in-one self-contained 3U VPX liquid-cooled ATR system called the 7SL3500. This solution reportedly is designed to meet critical functionalities in defense and aerospace applications, including threat detection, software-defined radar, and electronic war warfare using UAVs, HGVs, next-generation fighter jets, and autonomous ground vehicles. Meanwhile, in our next story, our embedded computing design staff has published an overview and deep dive into the embedded panel PC and how how that bit of technology by itself is revolutionizing the way that we compute in all sorts of industries and applications. It's a key technology and you need to understand it, so give this one a read as soon as you can. Finally, we are featuring a teardown of the Noise Luna Ring, and that teardown is by our own Rich Nass, our EVP here at Embedded Computing Design. He really loved the Luna Smart Ring and had a good time digging into its inner workings. And I think you'll have a great time reading about his exploration and his thoughts there. So check that out. That's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss coming out every Monday on LinkedIn where you can subscribe while you're in the mood. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right here so you don't miss any of our shows, including DevKit Weekly, Embedded Toolbox, and of course, in case you missed it, visit embeddedcomputing.com for all the news in the embedded computing space and follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web on our various socials media. Please reach out if you'd like to advertise on this show in case you missed it or any other show. And that is the end of our program for this week. We'll see you next week. Have a marvelous weekend. Thank you.